Frankfurt High School is proud to bring you episode number three of the Tradition of Excellence interviews. This episode brings you the class of 2022 Frankfurt alumni, Jacob Craig. This interview was recorded just over a month ago when Jacob was on leave from the military. Jacob has been in the military since graduating from high school, and he is a great example of how hard work can turn a dream into reality. It's perfect timing since Veterans Day is right around the corner. He has inspired me to get stronger in the weight room and is now inspiring many other people. I know his words encouraged me. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello, hot dogs. Thank you for joining me today for the third episode of the Tradition of Excellence. I'm Jacob Burns, today here with Jacob Craig, hot dog alumni, class of 2022. Welcome, Jacob. Thanks for having me. Jacob, what were you involved in when you were in high school? So I did uh, cross country, swim and track, and uh, I was involved in APC a lot. I'm on the, uh, I'm on the, uh, like the scoreboard in the weight room right now. Probably won't be there for much longer. I don't but. know, Nelson's <laughs> creeping up, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah, Nelson's crazy. But yeah. Yeah, and then uh, swim, uh, swim prepared me a lot because in the Marines you, uh, you swim, you have a whole week where you swim, so Oof. swim was really good. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> and how did cross country did that help anything through basic through any of your training yeah uh getting getting miles in uh in cross country helped helped a lot getting the getting the leg strength um in boot camp you hike a lot so um getting that that uh experience running and uh having fatigued legs uh helped me a lot for sure yeah yeah okay sweet uh can you tell us more about what you're doing now yeah, so right now I'm uh, actually on leave. Uh, so I just finished boot camp, which is about mm -hmm. uh, three months. And then I'm on leave right now and I'm gonna try to get recruiter's assistance, um, which basically just means I help out my recruiter um, trying to find people that want to join the Marine Corps. And then uh, after that, I will go to um, Camp Pendleton in California to, for infantry training, which is about like three months. Um, and then I'll figure out where I'll be stationed. But right now I'm just on leave, kind of hanging out. So That's nice, that's nice. Uh, how did high school prepare you for what you're doing now? Uh, so high school uh, isn't necessarily what like I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Like high school, for a lot of people, high school is kind of just something you get through. Um, yeah. And you sit in a class and you just need to get through it. And uh, as much as that sucks, it actually teaches you how to, to get through things that you don't want to do because in life there's going to be things that you don't want to do and just having that ability to just kind of persevere and get through the things that you got to do even if you don't necessarily want to do them um, is, a, is a good tool to have in your belt and then also like uh, the athletic um, program we have here is just it's awesome and uh, it teaches you a lot not only about physical conditioning and all that but it just teaches you about life and how to how to persevere in hard times. Yeah. Um, and then APC uh, helped me out a lot. It, it helped me out um, just learning about the body and, and how your muscles work and, um, and again, persevering through hard times. So. Yeah. I, for one, can agree with that. I do sports. Yeah. I do APC. And I know for sure that without APC, sports would be much more difficult. To, difficult, yes, and just sure. things in general would be difficult. And I know the class is one of those things where you have to take seriously to be able to be successful in anything, in yeah. job and in your life. Yes, so, for sure. Yeah. What would you tell your 16-year-old self? Uh, I would tell my 16-year-old self that um, you need to don't waste the time that you, um, you have now. Take advantage of the time that you have now. Um, prepare yourself, um, and just don't waste time. A lot of a lot of uh, people in high school just try to waste the time away because they don't want to be in high school. Um, but if you take advantage of the time you have now, you're setting yourself up for success later. So yeah, yeah, that that that's what I would tell myself. Uh, don't try and waste the time away. A lot of the time, I was just trying to get the time done so I could go to boot camp and start my yeah. career. But yeah. If I had um if I had applied myself a little bit more and and focused on getting better with the time that I had then I I probably would have been better off. 
Yeah. What made you join the services? Like. Yeah, so I've I've wanted to join the military since I could remember. Like since I was a kid, uh, like playing with Nerf guns and stuff. That's what I wanted yeah. to do. Like, uh, like I used to uh, dress up in like uh, camis and put like face paint on. Like, yeah. I, like, like I was yeah. that kid. You're always a soldier yeah. of Halloween yeah, and for all sure. that. Yes. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, that I was that kid, and <laughs> uh, I finally get to sort of live my dream. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th- other than the fact that I've wanted to do it my entire life, all you know, all the sort of cliche reasons, you know, I want to serve my country. I want to, I want to do those things. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Jacob, for coming out today, and uh, thank you for your service for the future country. Um, thank you for joining us, Hot Dogs, for this uh, next uh, episode of Tradition of Excellence. Until thank- next time. Thanks for having me. No problem.